Oh, yeah, we out here right now, right? We on here. Um, we there. We in the building. So this is our All first right. live broadcast. You know, we, we live on YouTube. We live on Facebook. I'm on the Facebook right now. Um, yeah. We out here, man. <laughs> what up, y'all? What up, what up, man? Man, Brent, I, I couldn't even come see you when I was in town, man. Man, you too busy, man. Like you I know all the stuff I was doing, to, man. You need to get your secret service detail in line and tell them like, <laughs> tell them where you need to be and when, man. Because I was like, God, no, I thought he was coming. I I was so that the so the weather on Thursday, that Thursday in Iowa threw me off for the whole week. So they canceled all my meetings and kept changing them. So that ice storm up in Ames kind of changed everything I had to do. So mm. I wasn't able to get nowhere. I missed a couple appointments. So um but I did get a chance to go see Ames High School when um, they played Ankeny, and they they whooped on them a little bit. It was uh, the refs didn't like Ames, so it was it was a good one. Uh, Brandon Thomas, our homeboy from uh, Iowa State, his son's playing on there, freshman okay. start, starting on a, a varsity. So okay. you know he's he's doing his thing. He a little timid. We gotta we gotta get you gotta get him to work out a little bit. He a little timid. You know he yeah. do his job, but he could do. I mean he be, he was driving. Cutting to the lane was was wide open for the layup, but because of the, he's, he's expe- yep, he expected the double team to come, and it, his 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 whole first thing was pass, and it didn't come. And I'm like three times in a row, he had four points in that in that game. I'm like, you could have had at least ten hmm. because you passed out anticipating something instead of letting it build for like one more second, one more step, and you would have had your points. But you know they won. He knows his role and he played his role well. So. um but yeah, that was good to be back for a little bit. Now we now big we in Big Twelve, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State in there right now, uh, playing. So um, you know we right in the thick of this Big Twelve stuff. Um, but before we get to the Big Twelve, before we get into the NCAA, we're gonna recap. Kind of, we're not gonna really recap the season. We, oh, we know what happened. <laughs> we all, all what happened? Yeah, the right. Big Twelve happened. Oh, the man! It was you know we we talked about it earlier, didn't we? We said. These nine Big 12 games yep. look so good. We beat North Carolina on the road at a neutral site. And then the Big 12 happened. And the Big 12, they said 70% of the Big 12 went to the NCAA. You're like, That's crazy. Really? I was just listening to earlier that we're the best conference out there. Like, mm-hmm. Hands down. Man, it, yep. it's crazy. You know? Um, and we play tomorrow at 1030, right? Like 1030 uh, Eastern. Yeah, it says nine yeah, nine in the hold on. Is that ten thirty? Is that eight thirty in the morning? Oh, that's nice. That's so it's seven thirty. Is Yo, it really? You, is it is it ten thirty in the is it that early? It says nine thirty my time. Oh, is it nine thirty? Well, but it doesn't say it just says nine thirty AM tomorrow. But I guess mm. like ESPN will give me my local time, wouldn't it? It should. Yeah, it should. It should. But I thought it was ten thirty. I thought it was ten thirty Eastern. But it could have been ten thirty. It could have been ten thirty central. I mean, I don't. I don't. I mean, I'm gonna check my ESPN. Uh, we see. We, we see. Hopefully, we don't miss it. You know. Yeah, I mean, right. That's the only thing is, is hopefully, we don't miss it. You know. But you know, we'll figure out a time. Shipley probably in the background probably could put that in the comment. Somebody put in the comment and tell us when it is in Mountain Pacific, Eastern, and uh, uh, Central. Central. You need to know everything yeah, because it's too many time zones right now. So yeah. I can't wait for them to change this. If they change it. Um, to when we uh, spring ahead, isn't that this? That's the Sunday. That's coming up. Ahead. Yeah. Um, I okay. want them to stay, but that means that um, I'm gonna be okay. three hours from the East Coast. All right, so I got it. Uh, it is number four Baylor versus number five ESPN two Iowa State, eleven thirty a.m. Central CT. Okay, that's ten thirty. So nine thirty here. Time. All right, right. Okay. We good. Brent, eleven thirty. Yep, eleven thirty it is for sure. So. Let's just recap real quick the good thing <laughs> about the 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 uh the, the the Big 12 and about Iowa State. Hey, shit, roll that beautiful beans footage. Oh, I ain't even do hold on. You can leave that up there, but hey, this is side. So I got so excited. This is side of storm. <laughs> Brought to you. <laughs> <laughs> they know who we are. 
<laughs> right. Um, George, this is Trice Legacy here. Uh, you can find me at Trice Legacy on all platforms. We got Marcus the High Riser, Big Body, Benz, <laughs> Mercedes in the Park 7 Series, uh, <laughs> Pfizer, you know, <laughs> on here. We got Brent Big Play, you know, Coaches Kalashes, uh, uh, Curve, Waki, yeah. uh, the Royalty, you know, yeah. we, got yeah. us all. we got us all in the background. <laughs> we got Ship, you know, Three Beers Media. Ship, I see him smiling there because we shouting him out and he can hear us. Yes, yeah, Ship, <laughs> I see you. Uh, but he's a Three Beers Media. We got uh, on the bottom, you see Revelton Distillery, you see Brown Dogs Farm. Yes, sir. Uh, who's the next uh, sponsor that want to come up? Uh, ESPN, uh, Joe, Joe Button, uh, Joe Rogan, uh, uh, Joe Boogaloo, any Joe. And we need a, <laughs> <laughs> we need a Joe. Any uh, Joe. Yeah. Oh, so hey, Ship, go to that last, go to that last slide. Put that last slide up real quick. Let me talk about just let, go ahead. No, go back. Go back one more. Go back one more. There it is. Mm. We're talking about it. There it is. Mm. We got Joe Boogaloo over there. We got Stevie Johnson. Who is them young guys? Marcus Pfizer. We got, <laughs> we got JT. You know, we yeah. I, I brought some old pictures back because I'm like, you know, we think about we're going to the tournament. We predicted to be a five or a seven seed. Um, you know, if we're five seed, we good. Um you know, seven seed. That means he's got to play play a higher uh, a higher seeded team uh, first off the bat. But you know, we'll see what's going. But you know, these are some teams. And when we went to the NCAA's. These are some of the fellas that that took us there. So, shouts out to you. Uh, I would call Mike Nurse, but I don't know what he's gonna say. I don't know where his yeah. head is right now today. Yeah. Uh, we, we may call him uh, Stevie yeah. with the baby, so we ain't gonna call him. Um, Ship said, "Who knew Nurse was so short?" <laughs> Marcus is just big, man. Right. Marcus is just big, man. That's camera angle. That's all camera <laughs> angle. You know, yeah. that's like that's right. like with uh. He he plays six four. He plays six four six five. So that's all that matters. When Tom Cruise, yeah, yeah. you know, in movies, they got to hack different camera angles. Right. Different I've different. heard that. Yeah, I've heard that. Different camera yeah. angles. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Loki want to say what's up. We got Loki. He's sleeping on my. You know. But all y'all that don't know, we had to put our kitten down about two weeks ago, and then oh, I came man. home from Iowa, and and Loki was here. So Jen and PJ's cat name is uh, Hella and Thor. So we went with Loki for him. Right? <laughs> yeah. What's up, buddy? So mom is gone. I, uh, I'm on daddy daycare. I know they my kids, but it's still daddy daycare. I don't care what y'all say. Uh, yeah. She in Denver right now for some work, and so I got the kids up there. Uh, the cat walking on my computer. He gonna go do his thing. Um, but yeah, no, so we here, we, we, we missed a couple, a couple weeks because we wanted to make sure we was here to, to preview, uh, the big 12 and talk about the year end. So, all right, ship, go back to that, uh, that, that first slide. Yep. So we talk about four cyclones that were named by coaches. So we had all big 12 second team was Gabe. Um, all, all big 12 honorable mention was, uh, Jaron, uh, Holmes, big 12, all defensive team, Gabe again, um, also in the all Big 12 honorable mention, Osuni, uh, Suni, you know, um, and then um, all 12 uh, Big 12 all freshmen, uh, Taryn Lipsy. So we uh, we had some people recognized for the things we were doing. Um, so, but then we had some that weren't recognized or that weren't called out, and so we missed a couple things. But Grill, we, we got to go to Grill. So he sent some messages out. He watched us for a while on there and posted as he was watching us. But we don't know, really know what was happening, what was going on um, right. with him. I know his, his his back, that a back injury. I'm 40, and I get a back injury. It takes me out for like three weeks. He's young, but a back injury is not something that likely to come back from if you don't get no rest and get the right treatment. So y'all got anything to say about uh, Grill mm -hmm. uh, being dismissed from the team? Uh, because when I looked at that last game he played, he was playing so aggressive. And and so out of character that I knew something. I felt something was going on. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's definitely unfortunate, you know, to have such a, a talent um, and a player to be dismissed from the team. You know, as he stated, you know, that he's been dealing with a lot, and we definitely send our prayers out to him. Um, definitely would have loved for him to continue continue this journey home with the Iowa State Cyclones, but uh, unfortunately that's not going to happen. But we definitely wish him all, all the best and everything. Um, he definitely gave our, 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 our university, you know, everything that he had each and every time he stepped on the floor. 
Um, I felt like something was a little off. You know, I, I didn't know if it was an injury. I didn't know if it was something that he was dealing with personally. But you can tell as a as an athlete, as a competitor, that that, that there was something off. Um, and so, you know, definitely we know that uh, TJ handled everything in house and you know the the correct way and, and the right way. So we're not going to speculate. Um, we just wish you know him the best in life and everything that's coming forward for him and. Um, we definitely appreciate him um, for all the contributions that he gave to us, and he's definitely a cyclone forever. He's part of the reason we uh, we gonna be either five or six or seven seed. He's he's part of the reason why we were so strong in the beginning. You know, when he went out, it did change a little bit. You know, because we 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 count on him for that that perimeter shooting, um, right. and and his and his grit and the toughness. Know? Yeah, his grit yeah. was there, and yeah. we we needed that. And then when we missed him for those couple games, it changed. So. Right. You know, Brent, when you talk about football, somebody get hurt and they out for a little bit or they going through something, you know, what's that what's that mentality? What what we what they gotta change? What what do what does the team have to do when you when something like that happens? You know? Uh it's always next man up, um, you know, kind of mentality. But honestly, to kind of touch on grill in particular, man, I you just never know what somebody's going through. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh to kind of piggyback markets, man, it's it's um you know, it's unfortunate he's not around. Um, again, you never know. You don't want to pass any judgment on the guy. Um, I really do wish the best for him. I hope he kind of kind of finds his own little healing because it, it seems like on his way out, he was dealing with some some personal issues and it boils over. And everybody's right. human, man. We all make mistakes. And, you know, sometimes it'll our, our tempers will flare or whatever to get the best of us. But, um, you know, that's, that's, that's just a way of life, man. So, Hopefully that kid gets what uh, whatever he's needing, whatever he's missing, man. But um, you know, dealing with injuries is a part of the sport, so it's just one of those things where uh, the guys that are on the team they're on the team for a reason. Uh, so at some point they might have to get that call and they got to contribute, and you just kind of hope that they're prepared to kind of step in and fill in, however uh, the team may see fit, man. So it's that that mindset of always being ready, you know, taking those reps, man. Uh, I preach to my kids now. Don't think that you're getting your reps are only coming when you're playing. You're getting the reps that the guys in front of you are getting too. Right. So when you step out, you're not making the same mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So learn from the guys ahead of you, man, and you know, go out and leave it all there. No doubt. Leave it all no there. Doubt. So we wish him well on his on his next uh his next uh journey. What up? What up, Joel? Joe Clement, that's my guy. He uh he's helped. He's uh he's done some volunteer helped me at my tournaments and things like that. He's been a he's been a good dude, you know, even getting his his daughter and uh Mid American Energy. I'm shout out Mid American Energy because they sent eight people, seven people um to my tournament, you know, from their group of volunteers. And so uh much love to Joel and his support of Iowa State, um, of the podcast, um, of ship, you know, uh of everybody. So we're gonna take our first break and we're gonna go to let's let's do uh let's do Revelton. Let's do it, let's do a Revelton uh break and, and let's let's see our sponsor there. So ship on you. At Revelton Distilling Company, everyone has become a part of the Revelton family. From the Taylors and their daughter who helped perfect their award-winning gins, to the team who installed Lucy, our 33-foot tall custom-made still, right down to the local farms that provide our coveted corn and even the cows on those farm who consume our mash byproduct. Want to see the farm to flask come to life? Now you can tour Lucy and find out where we take Iowa's harvest and transform it into our finest spirits. Choose between a 45 minute tour or find out even more by scheduling a VIP behind the scenes tour to get the taste of the full Revelton experience. You can visit them at 1400 West Clay Street in Osceola, Iowa or Find all of Revelton's award-winning spirits at any local grocery or spirits retailer. Man, Daddy Daycare never ends. Hey, baby, go get your own cup and get some water. <laughs> <laughs> he said Daddy Daycare and he's making the baby right. do everything. Ice and lid and straw and yeah, I don't know what my sister is. She's supposed to be home right now helping me out with this, but um, <laughs> shoot, this is my boy's my one night, Lisa. No, nah, man, you owe me. <laughs> no, nah, you don't owe me. I, I probably this is probably this is probably what I owe her. Uh, but we didn't get to that, you know, leave personal stuff where personal stuff is. Um, but, 
Um, but speaking of that, that uh that ad for uh for Revelton, so when I was back, Brent, you was man, and you went down there and for this distillery in Iowa and Lucy, Lucy's a big, a big B. She's a big <laughs> daughter, I, can't, hey. I can't say what I want to yeah. say. My daughter is five years old, she's so gonna hear me say it. But Lucy, hey. Lucy was big. Yeah, down there, man. I, I yeah, gotta Google, man. I gotta Google this. So yeah, Lucy, Lucy is a, still that they big old something. Yeah, she got she got pipes, she got curves, she got the big <laughs> copper on the top, which is that red head. She's named after Lucy. Uh, yeah. uh I love Lucy, Lucy and Dad. Yeah. So, yeah, man. We had we got a tour, so we went down there and we wanted to meet Rob. Just shouts to Rob. Rob, you still yeah. owe me a text. I text you. Um, we got to talk mm. about some things. Um, but <laughs> you know, I bought eight by I bought one of every bottle they had, eight bottles. I don't know if I'm gonna drink them, I'm gonna have them at the uh the event, whatever. But I got eight bottles, I got bought one everything. But we went down there just to meet them and, and talk with Ship. And I finally met Brent the first time in person. And I really didn't even feel like it was my first time meeting them because I'm like, we had been on video so many times. I didn't even really think about the fact that this was my first time like meeting them. Just like, oh, what's up, bro? Like, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, okay, we had we we wrapped a little bit, but it was a nice tour seeing what they're doing down there, seeing what we got in Iowa because finding out that a lot of the corn that we have in Iowa is sent to Kentucky. They use hmm. some of the Iowa corn, you know. And the reason why we do it is because. You know, the numbers, I don't know, I don't know the numbers, but I mean, you can make ethanol with corn or you can make whiskey with corn. And, oh, there it is. He shit brought it up. You can make, you can make whiskey or you can make ethanol. I saw the number of barrels that was in there and they said that's a lot more than the ethanol. So it was like, you know, yeah. it, was, it was a lot more. So, you know, it's time to, to, to change up. And so he did the right thing by using the good, um, you know, the good corn that we have out of that state. And I say we, I, I grew up there almost, but I right. you know, Iowa, you know, and uh, but it was good. What you think about that, Brent? Man, I man, I'm gonna tell you what. Shouts out to to Rob because you talk about a guy that totally knows his craft inside and out. You can tell how passionate he was. Um, I feel like I learned a lot. I wish I would have took notes, but um, it was super cool to kind of see everything from start to finish, and um, you know, learning <laughs> more about the business side of things and. Even, you know, picking up the stuff about Kentucky and, mm-hmm. you know, how all of those guys are each barrel you got to pay taxes on. Like, that was the wildest thing I kind of took from it. But, um, yeah, man, shouts out to Rob. It was su- it was such a dope experience uh, with mm-hmm. him being there. I don't think it would have been the same. Because uh, I've been to a couple, and, and I don't yeah. think I got as much knowledge from anybody, you know, at any distillery. So, it was super yeah, dope, man. Big shouts out to Rob. This is a background thing because, like, I went, I've done the Bourbon Trail. I've done five distilleries on the Bourbon Trail, and they don't get as in depth as Rob got with us. It's more for show. It's more for getting people in there and getting them in and out and through. They got a, right. they got a certain amount of time that they do it, you know, and they do it for the masses. Whereas it was four of us in there, um, and he did it specifically for us, and it was cool. So you know, shouts out to to them for that. But uh, that was a good, that was a good time. That was a good time. Mm-hmm. So. Um, Trying to see if we had any more ship. You should have put up some of the pictures of uh, of us actually out there, us actually out there. But dude, that'd be next time. I know. I, I see you back there trying to, <laughs> you know. But can you go to that next slide, that second slide for me? The Big Twelve tournament schedule. Let's go to. Let's go to that next one. So yeah. So just so y'all know, well, we have it up here. You know, I should have known. These times are all Eastern times, and um, so hey, these dogs barking. Um, so you know, first round was tonight. We had the two games tonight, and, and we got that Bob by beating Baylor. We looked good <clears throat> against Baylor last the other night, right? Yeah, I mean, we looked good. I mean, and we yeah. needed that win, and we played we played with some fire under our ass for that one. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> to to go into Waco with such you know passion and you know fire to. I wanted us to win without a doubt. I didn't see us winning by that in, in that diamond of a fashion, mm. but it was definitely good to watch and see. Um, you're ready to go into the Big 12 tournament, and listen, we we all know that's Hilton South. We we're gonna continue that tradition and and take it on, and we're looking forward to guys to uh, make a run in this tournament. We always do. They play them again first, so. Mm-hmm. That's it. Gotta, I mean, this is that this is that the revenge tour or something like that, if you want to call it. So, um, you know, I, I think that that's going to be, you know, key to this is to 
yeah. remember what happened down there and 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 uh you know redo that i think honestly man not having caleb grill is going to make the guys kind of rally too because now somebody else has to kind of pop in and, and step right. up more or less so this is going to pull a lot out of TJ too, and and his creativity in the lineup. Um, and you know, if we're being honest, everybody's you know zero zero, no wins, no losses yeah. in the Big Twelve attorney. So, yeah, you kind of start over, man. Let and all that King, other stuff go and see what happens. Yeah, and King was starting to get some more time, right? You know, he was starting to play a little bit more. That's um, my guy. So Love that kid, man. Yeah, he was yeah. picking up some of the slack. Yeah, yeah. So, right. yeah. you know, it was yeah. like you said, you you gotta. It's like you you said this in many episodes, Brent. It's next man up. You said mm-hmm. this in many episodes, and so um, King was ready. Um, he he had he has he had a break for a little bit, and he had to get out there and do his thing, and and he did. And so, you know, proud of the, like I said, proud of the grit of them boys. Uh, Hilton South, it is actually his. It's Hilton South um, yeah. down there in Kansas City. It's so close that Power and Light District. It's fun down there. Um, the only reason I'm not going on Thursday with PJ is because I'm going to Mexico on Saturday for spring break. Spring break, the kids' spring break kind of mess up my whole my whole thing now because it's earlier out here in Arizona than it was in Ohio. Whereas mm. I know what it is first mm-hmm. first weekend of the tournament, I was able to watch it and everything, but it's earlier here, so I can't I can't do like I used to do. But uh, hopefully I can get. I'm taking my Apple TV and hopefully I can get some of the games down there <laughs> in Mexico. Uh, I'm hoping. I'm hoping, man, because like YouTube TV don't work in Mexico, so I can't see that. ESPN mm. sometimes don't work down there, so I'm trying to see what app I can get. So you I don't have watch. you don't have Hulu. They don't work in Mexico. That don't work down there. Hulu either. has live sports. Man, right. that's what I'm watching <laughs> on <and> now. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, no, Hulu, we, are you getting too. paid by Hulu? No, nah, yeah, not, not, not like the other, not like the <laughs> other NBA guys, eh? not at all. But I, I hadn't had cable in two years. All we watch is Hulu. Live oh, yeah, sports. We, we got a, we got YouTube TV. I went with YouTube yeah, TV. Um, and it's nice because they're getting uh, the NFL Sunday ticket this year. So I'm hoping they have some kind of deal on that. I mean, I, I'm not paying for it to see the Browns, um, you know. But you know, if if I had to, you know, because I can't see Browns yeah. out here, uh, but. I don't know if I'm, I'm trying to. I might. I might pick a new team. I mean, I'm, I plan on being in Arizona for a while. So the Cardinals may be my new team. And Cleveland's my home. Cleveland is the city, but them boys ain't them boys right there. Like it's, hey, it's they, they different. That's kind of like me and these Texans. So I get it. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you got, I don't have a team in Iowa, so I'm kind of you know I can kind of figure out whatever I want <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Well, I'm a I'm a little excited. We got Derek Carr down in. Down yeah, in New yeah, Orleans. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. a little excited about that yeah, one. I ain't mad at that. Huh? Yeah. What do you think about that? I, I really like it. Um, yeah. yeah. hadn't heard much about, you know, that being one of the top teams that was in contentions, but, like, deep down inside, I felt I was like, he he going he gonna to come to New Orleans, and I'm really happy yeah. he did. I mean, you know, he's 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 had some great years here. Um in Vegas, you know, a lot of ups and downs with the teams and things like that. But he's a lot. Be- he's a lot better than what he's, you know, been able to show out there uh, recently the last couple of years. And I think with the team that we have in New Orleans, um, Ooh, he's going to be said, able to. You see his comment down there. He's really going to be who? Somebody. Uh, Derek Carr couldn't win with Adams and Jacobs. He ain't winning mm. in New Orleans. Uh, that, that sounds that sounds like a cowboy fan. I mean, who said it? Who said yeah. that? That sounds like a cowboy fan. That was anonymous. That said they, they didn't want to put their name on that. They that sounds like that was me. Uh, that was me. Uh, that was me. He ain't winning there. That sounds like a cowboy fan. They 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 they, they that said that's absolutely not a cowboy fan. <laughs> <laughs> they, they said that, they now, said, now I'm gonna hang up on you guys. <laughs> they said that about uh um, Gino Smith, and look how good Gino yeah. season he had last year. So, I mean, you get with the right team, good situation, you know, better defense, and yada yada yada. You know, the sky's the limit. So, yeah, and I like, I like, I met Carr once um, when uh, so Marcel Howard's brother uh, Austin played for the Raiders, and we went out there to 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 see to see them play, and we went behind, we got to get in the back in the locker room and everything back in that area, and so. Uh, he seems like a cool dude, so I'm, I'm wishing him luck down there. Um, so um, we you know, we just had a comment from a definite cowboy fan, so I know I know she 
she she, she watching <laughs> she oh, watching yeah. not yeah. Candace, yeah she's definitely definitely a cowboy fan but Candace, what you gotta say i don't want to get <laughs> mad smiley face right. crying smiley face right. <laughs> right. Hey, let's say what's on your mind we here we go we on live so we we, you we go back and forth all the time about the cowboys and the saints so we go we gonna see at least we don't say this is our year every single every year. year every, every single year, year. Uh, they they said this is our year. We're gonna win the Super Bowl. Watch, and then when we watch, and then they don't make it to the Super Bowl, is recycled to the it. next year. Half the time they ain't at the first round. No, right. they're going, they're going, they're going. no, no. In Candace's defense, the Cowboys were at the Super Bowl this year. Oh, were they? I mean, watching. Well, no, no, no. They were on the field. Dak Prescott was man of the man of the year. So, <laughs> uh, so he was down there. Candace, yeah. I had to throw that one there. But, <laughs> I worked for me, so I had to bring that in there too. But, he had on a different <laughs> suit. He was, he was suited up differently. Oh, man. He had a different uniform on right. there. You're right. You're right. You know, but uh, but no, yeah. So it's like, I got to get a new team. But, you know, speaking of, you know, Derek Carr went there, but did see that um, Purdy is having his surgery this Friday. So. Yeah. Uh, Candace over there talking. So um, yeah, so he did. He is having his his, uh, his surgery this Friday. So wish him well with that happening. He won't be ready by the beginning of a uh, uh, spring training or of a a fall camp. So they were talking about they didn't even make the playoffs. She going in on you, Marcus. See that? That's what they. they that's they won. That's they won. She is watching just to go in on you. That's they won. This is the first time since 2016 we've had a losing season, and they and they want to talk about the Saints didn't make the playoffs. When was the when did the Saints win the Super Bowl last? Hey, y'all, hold on one second. It's been since the Cowboys. <laughs> it's been since '95. We got a piece of Trice Legacy over here. Izzy just turned ten yesterday. Happy birthday, hey, Izzy! Happy birthday, young king! Ten yesterday. That's, that's my so. that's my oldest son' birthday too. Oh, May seven. I mean March seven. Yeah. March seven. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's what's up. Yeah, so he gonna he gonna kick it in here for a minute. Like I said, Daddy Dick here in full effect. I can't yeah. can't get a break. Uh, yeah. But but yeah, no. Um, you know she watching that. Oh, thanks, thanks, Joe. Thanks, Ship. Uh, yeah, he had a good birthday. We went to uh, Canes. That's where he wanted to go. What, baby? Canes. Raisin, huh? raisin Canes. Simple. Raisin Canes. That's where he wanted to go. He hey. wanted some, them moist chicken tenders. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, that's what he, I, that's what he wanted. They so bland, but all right. They hey, super so bland. Know, man. But they, they, they juicy. Know. They juicy. Yeah, they not, they juicy. They not they dry no like flavor, popcorn. But hey, yes, baby. Okay. <laughs> hey, nah. juicy with no flavor. You know what? The, none of all the flavor is in the batter. Like somebody yeah. didn't tell <laughs> somebody hey, didn't on, tell them. Conversation but, going, I gotta get my daughter some water with some ice. Right. In Hold on, y'all go so, ahead. And talk. Somebody yeah. didn't tell them to put the put the chicken down and season it. And yeah. then put it in the batter, and then yeah. go with it. Eight man, <laughs> and I'm from Louisiana. That's what that's what came from. Man, that's the the blandest sure chicken ever in the world. Huh? They made it commercialized, man. That's how it goes. Canes hey. is bad. Wingstop, Canes is bit, see? Wingstop's where that was Seneca. Ah, uh, that that's what I would prefer if I was that's if right. I was eating chicken like that. <laughs> Yeah, right. If you were actually eating meat, <laughs> well, right. I remember. I remember the canes though from years ago. How nasty it was. That's definitely yuck. I, I, oh, I got I, to tell. I got to, got to tell season. Izzy. Mrs. Pfizer said happy birthday to the young man. It is. Yeah. What's the weather like out there, ship? Uh, it's gonna snow tomorrow, so you know. I know, yes. You, 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 you yeah, know what it's going to be. I think we're going to get, I don't know. I think they it's said be 65 that it could, snow, it could snow six inches, but it might mm. just be two after it's all melted. So, Yeah, our high tomorrow is about 68. Yeah. Not too, yeah. Uh, look nah, not too shabby. Right, 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 <laughs> this guy. Not too shabby. I mean, those, we, might, we might get a little wind. All those people driving to Kansas City today. <laughs> Yeah. So oh, they yeah, that makes that's sense. why that makes sense. Yeah, that's why I was slow yeah. today. Yeah. I'll yeah, be in Kansas gone. City for football this weekend. So I'm yeah, like, that's all the stuff. That's all the stuff y'all don't see behind cool. the scenes because ship always edited out. 
So hey, hey, <laughs> when I get back home, and come on. Too. Why, right. You right. When you came back. <laughs> I'm the master editor back here. <laughs> Miss, Mrs. Pfizer, was was the young fella Izzy? Happy birthday while you was gone. Oh, oh it just popped back up again. Yeah, man, yeah, ship yeah. on it. Appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah man. We uh they getting older, you know, 23, right. 10, and 5. Yeah, <laughs> our old our, our old son turned 25 yesterday. Woo. Yeah, Damn. he's he's over in Georgia. The, okay. The go over there in the now? country. He over in the country, Georgia, playing oh, pro ball. Oh, okay, for sure. Yeah, oh, and so, okay. so he's like twelve hours different. So we woke up at like you know seven o'clock in the morning. His uh, his birthday is almost over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? oh, so man. like, That's hey, we don't wish you him, man. right. We gonna wish you happy birthday all on the eighth because <laughs> we all still here in the seventh. <laughs> That's what's up. Hey, well, let's take time. another break. As I'm, I don't have no rebel team with me today, so I'm not gonna tell you what I'm what I'm drinking. But um, we're gonna go to the next the next commercial break. So we want to. Oh, oh, you got the you got oh you got the cream record. Did yeah, you I made that? Uh, I went and made that mix. Hey, I had my, <laughs> oh, hey, my mulberries okay, before, over there. It's so fire. Before we get back to it, you got to tell the audience out there about this mix that we had down there. Tell them about the mix. Man, he so, made a mix. No, the uh, uh, the no, Robin they, here, the, the, they are they're uh, craft, they're craft uh, people. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what they call it, but it's the cream liqueur. Come on, and the man. I'm not even watching this. It's the it's the mulberry gin. I'm not it even tastes watching. Like this. a cherry cordial. When I tell you, it hey, fire. it's good money. It Look at the bottle. Good money. Look yeah, at the man. bottle. Good money. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> yeah, this is just it was just this. This matte black with the gold, right. trim, you know what I'm with, the, with hey. the with the white highlights in there. You know what I'm That's nice. So Brent, Brent tried it, and then his face, and then he backed away, and then he was yeah. like, "You got to do one." I'm like, "What? Huh. Yeah. I ain't doing yeah. that." He's like, "Do one." <laughs> so I did it, and I looked at him. Mm. Yeah. I had to back up right. off of it and set my cup down. So it was good. Yeah, it's solid, so man. It's good go down there, like. I think eventually they got they got their uh, food license. They can serve food down there. So eventually, I think they might do some food. But you know, we got to go down there and bring some some coaches down there, and uh, you know, have our own little things. But I'm trying to hey, tell you, there was a group of women there, about seven, eight of them, and, yeah. I, <laughs> and y'all know me. I talk to anybody. I don't care. And yeah. I'm like, hey, they had a charcuterie board. They had their own like yeah. brought their own food down there. And I'm like, hey, you know, can I get a little bit? And uh, my sister must be home. And they're like, they were like, oh, that's that's fine. Oh, ha ha ha. They just laughed. We sat down, and when they was ending it, they came over and brought me the plate. Like, you want some of these cookies? <laughs> yeah. like, Let me take two of them cookies. Right. <laughs> Let me get one. They were like, you want some cheese and some sausage? I'm like, give me some of that. You know? Right. <laughs> but they was cool. That's, so we we. But that's a hey, hey, that's Iowa yeah. nice for you though, man. Uh, that's how they are out here. You know what I'm saying? Say these right. people love you out here in Iowa, no matter what. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, the Iowa was nice, man. Yeah. So yeah, but no, we're gonna go to our next our next sponsor in the uh the, the brown dogs farm. Um so ship roll that beautiful bean footage. Brown Dogs Farm are Norwalk, Iowa made hot sauces and dressings. Brown Dogs Farm was born out of the dream to emulate the simple life of Rob's grandparents, who inspired him with their hard work and abundant gardens. Rob and Amanda set out to create a unique blend of fruit and pepper that would satisfy the part of the brain that craves great flavor without sacrificing the spice of the peppers. Sweet, but still packing heat. With combinations like jalapeno green apple, habanero peach, cherry rhubarb reaper, and other great flavor combinations, there is a spice and flavor that is right for any party or get together. BDF also has homemade versions of their classic and spicy ranch that are one of a kind. You can order all of those and more online at www.browndogsfarm.com and ask your local grocery to stock up. That's what's up. Hey, Ship, do they make bigger bottles than the little samples or do they only make the little samples? Oh, no, they make the bigger bottles. Let's bring that up. Okay, Hold yeah, on. bring bring their page. They, they just had a video. Play you can, if you can play their video that they just released on yep. the uh let's play that just because yeah, I mean uh, I, I need the holler, bro. I need some spicy more, ranch. I know, right? We want to get them some more love because we don't ever we don't ever really give them all the love they deserve, too. So we want to give them some love too. We always talk about liquor because we drinkers. Um, 
And then Marcus well, like hot sauce. Right. I, I ain't <laughs> talking about the spicy ranch because <laughs> Marcus <laughs> man. over there wussing out. Man, he better he, they better send some kind of pickle flavor or something. <laughs> I I, 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 know, I know my good limits. You eat green bean casserole, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> don't have no flavor. Uh, but, look, I, but, I, I I had to call out one of my homeboys one time. I they I went over to their house for a cookout, and uh, they took chicken out the package and put it on the grill. Oh no! And they were like, and I, and I didn't talk. I didn't say nothing about it. And then like no, a couple weeks it. later, we were out drinking, and I'm like, hey man. Put some season on it. He's like, "Well, I didn't know how you like it. I don't like it out the package on the, <laughs> on, the on the grill, it makes, Don't do that, man." All right, you we ready, ship? We all. We did, all you, did you eat it though? I, yeah, I, I did. I did. I, I put sauce on it uh, uh, and yeah. barbecue sauce. I like. I had to put something on it. <laughs> I, it was it was bad. And he, when I talked to him about it, he was like, "Man, he was like, I'm sorry. I just didn't know how you like. I mean, I'm black. I like I like seasoning." So I gotta say, Lowry's, Lowry's hey. with black pepper. I got, I got like cases of Lowry's with black pepper. Oh, there it is. Brent, you said dope track. Brent, you said You said what? Black. Your computer died? You were all black. Well, I mean, I am black. What you talking about? I mean, <laughs> I'm dark. You ain't, you, ain't, you ain't that black. We can't see yeah, you. What is that? You went away. You went away. I can see everybody now. What's going on? See, I got these new platforms and shit on. It's, it's like your lights went off or something. <laughs> That's it. Better clap on. Got the power in this joint. You pay the bill? What in the blazes? I think so. We, we might be a couple of days late, but you know. And okay, then I, I gotta put my order in nah. for the uh, the golf tournament now, so you get that money up front. You know, man, I'm trying to tell you. Look, we're trying to make it out of here, man. <laughs> Help me out. Uh, what is going on? I see y'all. Uh, hey, there. get off my my cat! Keep jumping on my board, trying to like move stuff. Ah, go down there. Man, I'm so alert. We're waiting cats. for Brent to come back. Okay, we we gotta talk about this tweet. That What's the big game boomer, this big game boomer, ranked the the the, the hundred top college oh. powered forwards of all time. Where is Where Marcus, think Marcus ranked out, out of a hundred? He got ranked seventy eighth. Perry Ellis is ranked twenty five spots <laughs> over Marcus. <laughs> wow, who? I, uh, is, what me, is, what is his, me, what is his background? What is his? Uh, I who knows? Yeah. This guy is this. Is, uh, so I'm going to show. He's this, a millennial. I'm going to let something. you guys. Uh, he said he's a I'm millennial. Like, he's a millennial or something. <laughs> oh, that's comedy. <laughs> are you bringing that? Are you bringing this tweet up? We going in on this dude right now? It, they must be tripping just because Marcus don't like hot sauce or something. That's what it is. <laughs> it it got to be. It got to be. Uh, it, ain't, it ain't that I don't like it. My stomach don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now, hey, can I, can I, since I'm on here, can I play something on here, uh, Ship, or do I got to send it to you to play? Mike Nurse ain't sending it to you, did he? No, I can't. Okay. I can't say nothing. Mike Nurse say. Okay. <laughs> you know, we, <laughs> if you know, we, listen, that, that's going to be MA. Or or M M A seventeen or, <laughs> or something. You and Perry else the same age though. <laughs> wow, <Man. laughs> that's crazy. Wow, they don't have even have me in the top seventy five. Wow, wow, ain't it? I like I like Brandon Clark. I really like Brandon Clark, but oh, come on, yeah, you know. Now you know what I, I'm gonna say. This this dude is all wrong anyway because, in my opinion, Tim Duncan is the greatest power forward out there over Larry Bird and Leitner. Hmm. Tim Duncan, in my opinion, was fundamentally sound at that power forward position. So I rank him higher 
than those two. I don't I don't know who else, but I I kind of rank them up there. But but I'm trying to I'm I'm, I'm trying to understand this off of collegiate years. How right. does one year freshmen, yeah, like college career rank over you know sophomore juniors and seniors like no, this no is Duke or UNC should be up, up there at all. This right? is crazy. Like, Zion, the hell are, yeah, this is crazy. Zion is number nineteen. They got Elton Brand well, fifteen. Charles Barkley's at fifty. <laughs> I didn't even see that. <laughs> right, take, take this guy's thing off of the air. Oh, we don't want to see this dude's thing no That's more. Right. Man. Is Otto right. Porter is a guard. <laughs> Otto Porter Jr. was is a guard. He, he plays two three. <clears throat> well, all the all the thumb thugs hiding behind the old keyboards. Yeah. Man. Thumb That's thug, how it you know about the thumb thugs, man. I, I think I saw a tweet. I saw a tweet on there that you know about. The top 100 guards, and they didn't even have Monte Morris on there at all. Someone said, <clears throat> "I didn't even really pay attention to this." When once I saw Monte Morris wasn't even on the list, I just got out of Twitter. Yeah, man. I mean, it's like a whole go. different universe on Twitter, right? Every every you know, with this whole verified check thing, like everybody, like you've never seen so many blue checks before in your life. You can, yeah. you can I buy mean, it now. Buy it. Like, that's my point. Damn, they're like a yeah. YouTube subscription, it's right? It's just you're ridiculous. Eight dollars a month. I'm straight. I can do it. Like too. who? <laughs> man, who is Backpack Warrior? And he's like, uh, come on now. Oh man, that is what it is. You got it 48 is. followers, but got that blue check, man. <laughs> 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 right, right. <laughs> I'm calling oh, who is, right now. Oh come on now. I got to. I'm gonna see if he answers. There we me. go. It's 10 18 this time. I'm gonna call this him. Is, anyway. This is this is live. This is live. I know. I'm gonna this tell him I'm warning him. Right. Up. What is that gonna do? Hey, I'm sorry, hey. the person you were oh. trying to reach has a voice. You got lucky. Look, he said, Woo! Hey, that's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I forget we live. It's, it's different when we can edit stuff. <laughs> you know, this is this is new to us. Uh oh, this is all man. this is all new, man. But oh, that's that's crazy. Um, but I want to do this real quick. Hold on. Let me uh ah, I can't. I can't do it. I want to um, I want to share this this video, but I gotta, I gotta learn how to do it. Oh, Mike Nurse texted me said he's watching a movie with his wife. Wow, <laughs> Every time ship it. come on, he kicked me out. I he's not that. watching the movie. No, with you there, he George. Send me that link. Send me that link in the private chat here, and I can display it for you. All right, all right, I can do that. I can do that. Let me see if I can. I, I don't know how to do that, but you know, am I sharing something? <laughs> Ship, am I sharing? No, nope. it's not. Uh, I'm not sharing. Nope. Tell Mike Na Nurse thanks for not answering. All right. Shoot him that text right now. Tell, <laughs> tell him, tell him thanks for for being a a great husband and watching the movie. <laughs> not answer. He, he he's such a he's such a stand up guy. Because because this time of night watching the movie at home, there's no telling you know what he's on right now. You know, he probably still he probably naked and still having my, the kids in them beers. Hey, my, Junior, give me a beer. My D my DMs fill up when they when people hear the podcast when my nurse have been on there asking me <laughs> questions. I'm like, I mean, what you want me to say? Man, you know? I mean, I wish we can get somebody on. I would love to get like you know, Stevie. I could call Stevie, but he uh leave hey whiskey, leave him alone. You know, but I wanted to go back because we were talking about old school. I showed some pictures of y'all old school playing ball, but I want to see if uh ship can get this out here. This is a YouTube. It says when they look like their thirties and their thirties already. So go ahead and play this. This is my high school, my last, my senior year. I, I think I'm in this one, but this is YouTube. Oh, this might not be the one. Oh yeah, this 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 is the one. Give, give it a second. Give it a second. See if y'all can recognize me in this. Boy, look like the Fonz in there. Man, we had look at the camera. Look at look at the camera with the video. Yeah, this was my high school, man. I had to go to the suburbs, and uh, no, this ain't even the right one. Damn it, ship. Oh, wrong okay. One. Yeah. Break it down. She yeah. was doing it. She was doing it, man. She uh she was cool though. She was cool. She was uh she was our home girl. Hold on, let's see if this one's it. Hold on, ship. I'm gonna send you another one. <clears throat> she she looks right like now. she was she was hearing some music that was different from her dance steps. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you know. <laughs> Music was, playing in the in the in the was, clip is not what right. she was listening to. I, it I'm didn't just, coincide. That's I'm somebody added music on that. One. Okay, okay. I'm just saying. I thought maybe you know. It's, it's, 
It's all there together. Was no beat to follow. That's all. <laughs> oh yeah, man, I'm gonna see if. Man. I mean, this is uh, this should be the one. I think this is the one. I'm gonna have ship play this one real quick. In interpretive sure. dance, I think is what they call that. Hold on, Ship. I'm trying to see where I'm at in this one. Hold on one second. So we're going down the halls of Cleveland. Damn, this, Cleveland this is now. stolen, okay. man. This is this is stolen. Yeah. This, this is uh, a little bit different than uh no, yeah. Ship, don't play that one either, man. Dang it, I can't get it. She she in there again. Well, hey, I feel like it's Terry side. Man, I feel like we had it on this one. Look like somebody recorded with the an Android. No, yeah. <laughs> 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 recorded with them big uh the big ones, man. He said the Android. The big ones, man. Uh, yeah, I guess I ain't, gonna, I, I ain't gonna find it though. Oh, hold on, I found it. Ship, I found it. Ship, hold on. Joe, Joe it, Clark it in the hallways. Oh, <laughs> this is it. Hold on, hold on. Here it is. Y'all, y'all, you know, I had some kid mention on a comment and talked about Fortnite. So when y'all mm. see what I do, and he talked about Fortnite, I'm like, this is the '90s. Fortnite came out in like 2015. I don't even know when it came out, but it came out in the 2000s, mid late 15s, you know. And this is what we did in high school, 98. My mom, I kept getting in trouble, so my mom kept moving me further and further out to the suburbs. So this was my suburb school. I moved here at the end of eighth grade, and uh, this is the last day of high school before I came to Iowa State. And uh, whoa, 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 what was that? Whoa, that bigger. You put that big shit. Okay, hold on. Hey, this I I'm not gonna that dude had the biggest nut ever. I played football with him. He just always pulled his nut just his nut. What's going on? That's Joe. That's Joe. I don't talk to that much no more. Yeah, Cass. What up? That's Kessler. That's Kessler. That's not Kessler. I still talk to him. He looks like Grady Dick. <laughs> Hey, this is Stolen, man. Stolen was 1,400 students, 100 black students. Um, did you go to the beginning of this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. We didn't do, we didn't do, we didn't do black camera, man. You, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. Do you, do you, see, do you see what he's working with here? Watch this, watch this, watch this. Here you it is. literally, you literally just said go to the beginning. Yeah, go to the beginning. This should have started from the beginning. Hold on, here it is. Go ahead, play. I, I'm at the play. beginning. Okay, play. Hit play right now. It, it, it won't play. What up, Cass? What up? All right, watch this, watch this. Hey, give me your did he did he say Cass? <laughs> yes, his name is Cass. No. no look at <laughs> there he is. We got to do something with your bandwidth. What's your bandwidth, ship? <laughs> it's freezing. It's oh, terrible. Turn, 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 turn. Look what he's working with. Whoa, oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, turn it off. Oh, turn it off. Yes. All right, turn it off. That sounds absolutely <laughs> terrible. Hey, so they took a clip of that. I, 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 I've had over three million. I started playing live like, video. I got to yeah. upload the video on. Next time, give, okay. me a, give me a warning. My bad, my bad. I'm at, I'm at three million hits for some of these, man. Mm -hmm. Like, and somebody, oh. somebody, like, somebody cut that and went to me and said, that this dude was trying to be funny. He was like, now I see why they had Omar Epps playing a high school student in, in love and basketball. He's like, nigga, you at least 30. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> you at least 30. And uh, I'm like, I'm like, man, I don't look that old, man. Yeah, I had a little bit of a OT, but I don't look that old. But they were talking about how old we looked back there. I mean, we ate real food. You know, right? We played sports and ate real food. We, what are y'all doing now? We, hold on. we were outside playing. Y'all on y'all on y'all phones and in Twitter thumb wars. You know, what? drinking water out of uh, yeah. out of the water hydrant. We had yeah, we had water hoses. We, we right the, the open the hydrant the that played in it, and it was different. It was different. One, one meal a day once you, once you came home for dinner. That's because you yeah. like, that's because you was in the house because you couldn't go back out. Right. You come in, you ain't going back out. Right. Like, now you can't make them go outside. Right. For real. They don't want to do it no more. No. Nope. Yeah. Hey, but we but we digress. Bust a move, Denny. Yep. Bust that's a move, up, Denny. Uh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> uh, but we had some fun back there, man. But I just want to show something old school to show you know we who we are, man. This is just who we are, who we've always been, but. You know, we talked about Iowa State and where they at right now. And 
Um, Ship, I want you to go to that um that last that last slide that I had out there. Um, we talk about March Madness. So, like again, you know, we had some key wins. You know, our quad ones. We we started off <laughs> we started off real nice in the quad ones, and uh, kind of kind of declined because we lost a lot of them straight. Um, but again, ESPN has it as, as a fifth seed. CBS has it as a seventh seed. Sunday, you know, we know where we're actually at. Um, you know, it it just it is what it is, man. We um okay. we here. We weren't expected to make it last year. You know, we we're making it this year with a whole bunch of transfers. Um, these kids came together and played well. Uh, we don't have the same team. And and one of the things that I was hoping of is that we won like against North Carolina and some of the and some of the top ranked teams with Grill. Now that Grill's not on our team. I was hoping that that didn't come back to bite us where they say, okay, you lost all these games at the end, and so why should we put you in because you you lost one of your players and you're not the same team that you started the year with? So I was hoping that we did not get kicked out because of that because we are not the same team we started the year with, and so is that going to make for good ball? But we came out and we played gritty with all of the teams we played after Grill was not playing, so I think that that's, you know, we're good there. But that was my concern. I don't know if that if y'all that crossed y'all mind, y'all thought about that at all. But that's what I was thinking about when I was thinking about this tournament and everything. Yeah, I, I thought a little bit. Um, but you know, I, I knew it was going to be determined to the the next couple games after uh, the dismissal of uh, of Caleb. So, you know, we're in the Big Twelve tournament now. Um, we got some big games coming up, and and especially knocking off Baylor tomorrow. Yep, uh, we'll I definitely. You know, um, send a message. You know, winning, winning down in Waco, and then uh, winning down in Kansas City against them in, in the vest. And then if we can win this thing, scratch that. When we win this thing, it's going to put us in a better position to uh, go into the tournament. I mean, last year, you know, we didn't have a good season in in the early on at all, but, you know, we still made it to the Sweet Sense team because of how good the Big 12 is. So that's one of the things that could be, you know, a blessing in disguise. What's what's our quality uh, conference basketball gets to the tournament, then, you know, yeah. it's, it's a one-game tournament. You better come with your yeah. A game. Our guys are scrappy. We you, you definitely know we're going to play defense. We're going to put the ball in the hole, and, you know, we're going to advance on. So, this is the real exciting time. You know, a lot of people who are betting people really get up for this time because of, you know, how much money you can make. This, As a competitor, this is a time that I love to watch because we get to see the true nature of college basketball. Yes, sir. Thanks, Cannon. Yeah, they played the same way they did against Baylor last time. You know, we'll do great. So, you know, we're we expecting big things from them. Um, you know, uh, they're going to they go out there and, and show – um, this is, um, you know, and, and based off this, because we beat Baylor, uh, because like, so when I was reading some of the news, there are no, like, if we lose this game tomorrow, which we won't, there are no implications. It won't drop us anything. You know, it won't, it won't raise us. We, we're kind of stuck where we are. So we are a fifth or a seventh seed, depending on which one you go at. We're kind of going to be there um, either way. So, you know, the tournament is good. Um, you know, focus on March Madness. So Jason, my whole thing with this is, that's dumb um, as hell. That, it, we, we, <laughs> we shouldn't lose tomorrow. We can't we can't go in. You can lose. Yeah. We can't we can't go in because the tournament you're gonna be playing people you have not played, teams you have not yep. seen, you haven't scouted them the same way you <laughs> scout the conference. But yeah. we can't we can't just lose. I know these talk shows say that, but we can't just lose and like go out that way. Tell that tell uh, that local sports talk show that's dumb as hell. I mean, you you got to keep that same momentum. If if you have the most, if you have the losing mentality, that, that losing momentum, you're gonna con- continue to play that way. If you yeah. if you have the winning mentality, you're gonna continually, you know, uh, you you're gonna continue to have that way mentally. You step each and every time you step out on the floor, we're going out there to win. You know, even though you can lose this game, and then you get to the big tournament. That's not that's not the way of thinking of, at, at all. You know, once my last year, once we got into the Big Twelve tournament, it was these teams that we're going to face. We're going to blow through them. We're going to get to the tournament and do what we got to do. I wasn't focusing on well, if we lose this one, we may be this seed. No, nah, we're going to hold up this trophy at the end of this tournament, and ultimately, we're trying to get to the end tournament. I mean, to the end trophy, and that was the goal, and that was the focus. This. We're not going to backtrack at all just to lose and focus on March Madness. That's 
And That's dumb as hell. At this at this time in the year, I know you you can lose in the Big Twelve, and then you're, we're still going to the tournament. It doesn't matter when you when you're playing this 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 mentality you have to have right. all year round. Really, is yeah. the, the, the NCAA tournament mentality, which is advance or go home. Every game you play, mm-hmm. it's advance mm-hmm. or go home. And 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 I, and I equate that to life. What we're doing right now, right now, we're all going through a lot of shit. We are all going through a lot of stuff, and every day is advance and move on to the next round. Yes, it is. That's, yep. that's what yep. we're trying to do, um, and, and personally. And so when you talk about sports and things like that, you don't know what's promised tomorrow. You, you don't know what's out there, so you got to advance and get to that next round. Your whole goal is just to win, win, win. I don't care if it's the Big 12 tournament. I don't care if it's the, the, uh, the WAC. I don't care what it is. You know, you, right. you, you, you win your tournament. You do what you got to do. You, you then you go into there with a momentum with that that mentality that I'm still a winner. I'm winning. I'm my mindset is we've been winning. We've been right. winning. We've been winning. We've been playing. That's the mentality. So those talk those sports talk shows. I they, they so one of the things that I, I I'm not I'm not knocking who I don't know who it is. So the, Jason, you didn't say who it was, but Iowa is the local piece, and it's always geared towards that moment in, in Iowa sports. But when you look at the bigger picture, it's advance and move on to that next level, and you got to win in order to advance. Well, it's, it's nothing personal at all. Not personal to the person who said it or what sports shows or whatever, but that's dumb as hell. That's a, just a dumb take, you know, to to take going into this tournament and going to the NCAA tournament. You got to keep that same momentum. If, if we're not focusing on, on winning, then why put anybody out there? You might as well bring on – some walk-ons and let them play, you know, and, and you just focus on getting to the to the NCAA tournament. No, that's not that's not the way we, we're looking to to win this tournament because we know we can. We've beaten, you know, what every team in the conference, you know, we've beaten the, the top team in the conference. So being on that being on that neutral floor, it's kind of neutral because we definitely call it Hilton South. Yeah. Even if we run into Kansas or whoever, get to that championship. We know the magic and what happens down there in that building, yeah. and we're looking to keep that momentum. Momentum. Yeah. That's that's the big word right there, man. Yeah. It's, it's definitely about that. <laughs> I didn't say that. That was not me. It was not me. We don't know if it wasn't you. Hold on. We've There's called no way that was shit. Because he'll be texting us <laughs> in the middle of a game <laughs> and thinks uh-huh. the shit out of us. How many times about just, that? I'm doing what Marcus said. If I don't think we're going to win the game, then why am I even watching? <laughs> so if it's the middle of the first first half and we're killing them by 20, then I should He's, say game's over, right? He said, dare I say it? I, I say dare. nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Don't even respond. Like, you guys He's are a bunch red. of chickens. Don't, don't touch it. Uh-uh. You guys are just a bunch of superstitious man, chickens. Keep it real. Right. Keep it real. It's like that, man. It's not superstition. Way, we, 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 we saw what happened down in Lubbock. Yeah, yeah, we, right. We, we, I've been we, right. same draws for three weeks, Chip. That was Nurse's fault <laughs> anyway. She said he was scared to play him. Right. That's that's that's, that's that who we put that one on. Was Mike Nurse did yeah. say that. It's yeah, different when you right. go down to love. It's different when you go down there. Yeah, right. right. Listen, listen. <laughs> Keep watching listen. that movie with your wife. <laughs> listen, listen. It's different <laughs> when we go, and that shit happened. <laughs> that yeah. happened. Keep all I can say is wife. that damn Mike Nurse. That's all I can say once they start coming back. <laughs> oh man! Hey, should I call Stevie? You think we get Stevie on? Where is he at? Cali. What time? Is- Cali. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can get Stevie on. Let me see. Seven thirty here. Let's see. Let's see. We gonna call him. See, so we got We got to wrap this up at some point in time. But you know, we gonna call him real quick. See if he jump on. <laughs> Hold on. He ain't, he ain't gonna answer. You know he ain't gonna answer. He gonna blame it on the baby. He and the nurse are watching the same movie. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Oh, he ain't gonna answer. Yep. He he with the baby right now. Well, Stevie, we we thinking about you, man. We thinking about you. Your call has been forwarded. Yeah, he ain't answered. So your call has been forwarded to an. Yep. All right. Well, we're gonna leave that be. You know, <laughs> you know when we talked about it, you know, it's twenty to twenty six. Uh, uh, halftime just ended um, in the second game of the Big Twelve. Yeah, um, Oklahoma we, we, coming back. 
Yeah, we play tomorrow. Um, you know, 10 30, 11 30, 9 30, depending on where you at. 9 30, uh, yeah. 12 30. I mean, it could be it could be any time, you know. We got no yeah. time zones right now, right now. Yeah. So um, but hey, I, I'm going to Mexico on, on Saturday with the family. Um, where? Where in Mexico? That's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. Son. I'm going to Puerto Varta. So I'm Son. on that side where I looked at the map. <laughs> I looked at the map. Son. I looked at the map. He said he looked at he said he looked at the map like people don't travel. I looked at the right. map. I saw, I saw the red. I saw the red. I saw the I, yellow. You know, <laughs> we saw that map on CNN the other day too. <laughs> so I was like, um, uh, going right. to spring break, huh? Man. Oh, oh, Freddie is having a hard time with Minnesota right now, is he? I didn't even yeah. know right now. Well, it's Freddie big time luck. I mean, it's, it's just been Kind of hard then in, in Nebraska form, but it has been. Yeah, you know, he when he when he left the league and went over there, it it's been it's been a challenge, yeah. you know. But he resilient. He's he's a he is a he's a he's a coach. Yeah. you know he's Absolutely. a leader. He's a leader. He's a he's a mentor. So he's doing what he has to do. Um, and and I met him like once or twice, and he's a he's a good dude. Yeah, he's a real good dude. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And he's always gonna be the mayor of Ames, man. <laughs> always gonna be the mayor of Ames. Um. Hey Joe, appreciate that. But yeah, Port of Arta, got a direct flight in there. I got my I got my transportation already set up. Um, I, my my uh, resort does have like guards at the front that you know they check cars when they come in, so I feel safe. And we got two tigers there, Daisy and Duke. They're two live tigers because uh, our the golf course on my resort is El Tigre, and so Daisy and Duke be in cages. So if something happened, they could pop off. I'm going and letting them out. Going over there, Daisy. And Man, they got yeah, those tigers okay. so tranquilized up in there. <laughs> right. <laughs> but they breathing. You're like, not even gonna hear that tiger <laughs> roar there. <laughs> right. That tiger gonna, gonna be so high. <laughs> yeah, they walking around like this. The whole time. Man, you'd be better off with Tony the tiger there than them two. But no, our, our resort, you know, we don't gotta go far from that. The grocery store is right outside our gate. How long are you guys gonna be there? A week. A, A week. week. Yeah, we going down there, so we couldn't really travel, so we banked our points. So, I mean, if somebody got a free flights and they want to come down there, we got a three bedroom that sleeps ten. No oh, wow. Hot tub on the top, <laughs> on the top floor, uh, ocean view. So my baby, my babysitter, my nanny, our good friend, and her granddaughter coming out with us. So it's gonna be six of us that sleeps ten, and nice. nice. It's, we're just gonna chill. It's, it's it's a place we go. We feel safe there. Um, we've been down like to Rocky Point because we can get to Rocky Point in four hours from here. Um, but Rocky Point is like, you know, it's just like going from Texas down to where the, the people got to put up at. Um, right. It's right there. And it's like you don't want to go there and get lost there. But Puerto Varta, Nuevo Varta, where we at, you know, it, it, it's, it seems like it's a good area. So well, we definitely, definitely going to be praying for you guys and, you know, uh, safe travel. Send them up. Yes, sir. Man. What, what, what Aisha say? I don't want to go to Mexico no more, no more. No more. That song has some meaning to it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, my, that's my baby sister. <laughs> <laughs> man. Oh, man. That's what's up. Mm. What y'all got to say as we close out, man? This, hey, this was fun doing it live. Yeah, it um, was. It was. Yeah. It, it was a little, little bit different. Um, Definitely. Definitely tune in tomorrow, whatever yeah. time zone okay. you in. Yeah. We, might we have need to do a second episode this week, like Friday. We night. got you. Like Friday, like Friday. Yeah, we, we got we got to get back on it, especially when we make it to the championship yes, game. Sir. Yes, sir. Definitely. There it is. Yep. I mean, I might be on the road driving. I might be driving to KC, but you know, I'm all the way with it. Hey, but if you go, I, I'll send you. Always gotta make those free throws. You gotta meet PJ, dude. Like. You gotta PJ? Get, if, if PJ drive down there, yeah. Peter, Peter, Peter Rungy Jr. PJ. Peter Rungy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, that he, I'll be he down there. He, <laughs> who laughs like who's that chip? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just back here in the background. I didn't say shit. <laughs> <laughs> who's the one who laughed? Who was that laughing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. So what y'all want to say as we close out, man? We've been on for an hour. This has been a long episode because we've been live. You know, so you know, Joe, go state. What else? What else you want to say, Marcus? I mean, with whatever you doing, uh, with how how Marcus Junior doing out there, out here in he's doing he's doing well. Uh, his playoffs start this weekend. You know, we just uh, went down for a senior day. They had a successful game. Uh, he played extremely well. Got a couple of dunks that game. I give him twenty bucks for, per dunk. So. Okay. You know, yeah. after the game's over, he always tell me, you know, you you know, you owe me sixty today. You owe, you owe me forty. Yeah. What I do? 
Like your grandma yeah. always said, as long as I owe you, you'll never be broke. Exactly. So exactly. he's doing extremely well, uh, trying to get this recruiting thing kicked up a little bit higher. Um, definitely biased to a certain area, but, you know, we're going to see what's going to happen. Um, but he, he's definitely somebody you're not going to want to face if he's not there. So, yeah. um, but yeah. but uh, looking forward to the game tomorrow. Uh, like I said, make sure that you have all eyes on Cyclone Nation, definitely. If you're not down in KC, tune in. Let the guys feel the vibes, and uh, we look forward to pulling out the W tomorrow. Yes, sir. Brett, any cool. updates on um, schools in Iowa for yourself? Mm. Mm. Uh, no updates. I think right. I got a visit to the to the the toe. What they call it, the team out east or something like yeah. that. Oh, but, the team out east. Okay. That's ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> just, oh, no, shit, I had to jump off of that one. <laughs> I just, you know, that and that like K State get... picture I saw the other day. That's <laughs> enough I can stand. Hey, listen, I can't do anything but be a, be a supportive father. You know that's it. So that's that's yeah, all that's it, it is. It's, it's called in the glow and gold that flows through these things. But, you know, yeah. it's one of those things, man. We'll, you know, let them kind of figure it out, but we keep pushing what we want. But, mm-hmm. I, you know, but no uh, if, nah, if he if, if if he's at that toe, he's gonna have on that cardinal and gold up under the up under the yeah, shirt, up under I, the sweatshirt I, or whatever. I, I wear it out proud, like <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we go all know. we like, go all go up in that cardinal gold. He go out right. there. <laughs> like it is what it is. Y'all didn't <laughs> Iowa didn't let me into a practice last year, so ever since then it was like mm, okay. Well, every time I come out here, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I'm rocking Iowa State something. So just so y'all know. Recruit no my doubt. son, but we we rocking it. Appreciate okay. it, Mrs. Pfizer, for the yeah, Mrs. Pfizer out there watching. For the great show, in yeah. room giving you, you know, she giving you these soft balls. They but she, she she she's taking care of the baby tonight. The baby <laughs> okay. one that she's not feeling well. feeling well. You know, we went on that trip, so she's not feeling well today. So today was just all, you know, in the room, make sure she's taking care of her, getting fluids and everything like that. So that's, that's why she's not running around tonight. But okay. definitely shout out, appreciate it. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, I, as we as we close out, thanks, Joe. We did this was a good show. I like this live thing. I like this new platform. But um, you know, again, I got always got to shout out the Trice Legacy Foundation. Mm-hmm. Uh, five by twelve by five hundred. It equals it equals two. That math does add up. If you get five dollars a month for twelve months, and I get five hundred of my Facebook friends to do that, I can support two high school students with tutoring and technology to make sure they're successful. Um, The Trice Legacy Foundation is real. We are a 501c3. It's all tax deductible. Um, This is the 100th year anniversary um, of Jack's death, Uh, but it's it's, it's a celebration. It's not a a mourning. And we're doing some good things with Iowa State. The Jack Trice game is October 7th uh, in Ames. I'm looking at doing a, um, a tailgate. You know, and everybody listened to that. The Iowa Staters that that mm. listened to that was there with me, Marcus, and, and was there. I want all y'all to show up. I want all y'all if y'all in the in driving vicinity. I'm gonna try to throw. I'm throwing a tailgate. Y'all come through. Yeah, my Tr- time too. Now Tricky don't leave Trey, me out of there. Turvey, everybody that was right. out there. You know, Ridgeway, Nantulia, uh, Lamont Johnson, Adrian Dunbar. I'm calling out some of the people. But y'all be there, support us. Um, but we got the golf event, Trice 100. Uh, golf.com we've been getting some 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 play there we got um high v as a sponsor uh bmw of des moines is a sponsor meeks uh marketing is a sponsor uh shields is a sponsor um you know we got um you know iq which is a local optometrist that uh was an iowa stater that started up we got people supporting us i even got friends at a program that just sent me money to say hey put my name on a hole i ain't got no business but here's 150 dollars to support a hole put my name there as a supporter of it. So whatever you can do to support any foundation, any nonprofit right now, especially looking out for your brotherhood uh, right now is the time because we don't know what's about to happen. They talk about a recession. We don't know what this is going to look like. You know, I know you want to keep hold of your money. We know that do what you got to do, but make sure you're taking care of your brother uh, in any way that you can. That's all we ask. It doesn't have to be through me. Wherever you give, give if you can. You know you can't. You can't take it with you. Hunger low. You can't take it with you. You you can't. You know. So to so make sure you're treating your 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 the brotherhood the same way. Everybody is from the same bone, the same earth, and we gotta just support. We all in this ship together. 
we, we, we sink together, we 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 float together. Right. So you know it doesn't matter with the color of the skin, like ship. Ship the only white guy that jumped on the on the podcast. Ship jump back on. Look at that. <laughs> One white guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on my tan. <laughs> it's, it's a dead of winter, but my friends, I hate to bring it to you, but come, come to Vegas, come to Vegas of Phoenix. It's a dead of winter. No, Vegas, bro. Vegas of Phoenix, you'll get a good tan. That's what I need. Oh uh, man, but we appreciate you, ship man. Hey, and ship. Uh, I talked to ship earlier. You know, we shouted him out on the last show. His mom is home at home doing better. Not yeah, not a hundred percent. She's always gonna have these issues, but hey, ship. You know, we we your men. We love you, man. And you know we support you, yeah. and we be out there looking for mom too. Thank you guys, I love you too. No, great man. job tonight. Appreciate sure. it. Hey, we signing out. Side of storm, three beers media, uh, Brown Dog Farm, Rebelton, Hunger Loaves, Coaches Colossi's, Trice Legacy. Farm. We we all out here. So thank you for listening. Thank you for supporting. We gonna keep this going. Go clones. Yes. Next time. Yes, sir.